Uh, why? 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 <sighs> Hi, everybody. It's Lando. Welcome back um, to another, I guess, review video, I guess. I don't Or vlog, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Review vlog? I don't fucking know. But, um... <sighs> As you can tell by how I'm acting, I'm not really looking forward to this, but I feel like I gotta do it. So, as you guys know, Drake uh, dropped his uh, his newest album today, Certified Lover Boy, very highly anticipated album that we've been waiting for nine months now. It was originally supposed to come out in January, but it got delayed, and now it came out today. Friday, this September 3rd, 2021. And um, people have been really excited about this album. There were features teased about this. You know, Jay-Z, you know, Future, Young Thug, um, some other people and shit. Lil Durk and yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but, um, um, people of, um... You know, there's been the whole, like, Kanye West and Drake beef thing going on. You know, people have been, like, taking sides and shit. You know, there's people writing for Kanye. People writing writing for Drake and shit. Donna came out, like, last week. I haven't listened to that album yet because I, I want to listen to um I haven't finished. Uh, I want to listen to Kanye's other albums first. I still got to listen to Life of Pablo and uh, Ye. Then I'll listen to Donda. But I've heard Drake's entire catalog. Um, so I figured I'd just listen to uh, this uh, Certified Lover Boy now. Um, so a lot of people have been excited for this album. You know, Drake's past shit hasn't been the best. You know, Dark Lane Demo Tapes, in my opinion, was a pretty decent project. Um, it was definitely a lot better than, like, um, it was definitely a lot better than the Scorpion. Scorpion was awful. Well, it wasn't awful. There's some good tracks on Scorpion, but see, like, Views, More Life, and Scorpion make up what I what I like to call the filler trilogy. Like those three albums, what I like to call well not but not all of them are albums, but I don't know More Life. I I don't know. I I call More Life an album because just how big it is, um, and shit. But those three projects I refer to as filler the trilogy because that's basically all the al all those projects are is just projects full of filler. Some good tracks in there, but mostly. But the majority is filler. We all know this. We've known this since these projects have came come come out, bro. A lot of people say Views has aged really well, but I don't see it at all. It's still very. I'm still very mixed about it. Same with More Life and same with Scorpion, and shit. Out of those three projects, I find More Life to be the most enjoyable, and I find Scorpion to be well the least enjoyable. So there's that. Um. I was hoping um, Certified Lover Boy would be like an amazing project, considering there's been a lot of hype around it. There's been a lot of like a lot of excitement built around it. So like I was pretty excited about the album too, because if you guys don't know, we had Scary Hours too that came out um, earlier this year, which was like this little three three song little EP thing to I guess hold people over until the uh the album came out. And that that little EP was a good EP, bro. Like, you know, what's next? You know, the song with little baby, the lemon pepper freestyle I think it's called, you know? Three good songs, bro. Like, you know, I think that, you know, that built hype for the album, you know, you know, it gave me reason to be excited about it. So that's what that's what happens. And um um so the album came out today and um, you know, I gave it um a listen. I gave it a few listens, and, um, God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. This thing was disappointing, dude. This thing was disappointing. Like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? Why? Drake? Why? Are you kidding me, Drake? Why? 
This man, this is literally the fourth installment in the filler trilogy, man. And I was hoping that wouldn't be the case. This thing is 21 tracks, an hour, and like it, almost an hour and a half of content that is just almost all filler. I don't know why I'm getting upset like this, bro, but I'm getting, I'm getting sick of this, bro. <sighs> Are we ever going to get another, if you're reading this is too late, are we ever going to get another, um, whatever his 2013 album was called, I forget what it's called, I forget names all the time, so shit, whatever, that's a good album by the way, that 2013 album, it's a good album, you know, are we ever going to get, are we ever going to get another album as good as Take Care, are we ever, are we ever going to get an album as good as those three projects, are we ever, I don't even know, bro. I don't even know why I'm even acting like this. I'm, I don't know. I'm just sick of this, bro. I'm disappointed, and I'm getting fed up. This man can get away with anything. He can drop mid all the fucking time, and everybody will gobble it up. It's fucking, it's fucking insane. Look into my eye right now. You can see fucking how angry I am, bro. I'm getting fucking sick of this. I'm getting fucking tired of this shit. I'm getting fucking annoyed with this shit. But anyway, let's let's talk about the music on this album, right? First of all, I will say that not every track on this album is bad. There are some songs on here that I, I do like. I do like. But let's start off with the intro track. The intro track. The intro track. Whatever it's called, champagne poetry. It, it was very underwhelming. Um, it was basically just like Drake rapping over this like this sample or something. I don't even know. It sounds like a fucking, like, it sounds like a Drake song, but at the same time, it sounds like a Kanye West song. However, if Kanye West was the one who performed on this instrumental, it would have been way better, because, like, I'm pretty sure, because Kanye is more fit for, like, a song like Champagne Poetry, so that's just my opinion, though. Don't flame me for that if you're a Drake stan, okay? Yeah, I should probably say this right now. Everything I say is my opinion, okay? If you want to leave a fucking butthurt crybaby-ass comment in the description of this... Not the description, in the, in the comment section of this video, then go ahead, bro. It's not going to change anything. But, um, yeah, Champagne Poetry, very underwhelming intro. Yeah, but thankfully, the song after that is uh, pretty good. Um, What's it called again? Pop Poppy's something? Poppy's Home, I think? I don't know. I, I don't know. I gave this album, like... I only gave this album, like, two listens all the way through because I just, like, it's just too damn long and I just, like, I don't I don't think me giving a third listen would really change really anything. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I forget the name of a lot of these songs already, but, yeah, um, whatever, Poppy something. I thought, it was, I thought it was a pretty good track. I thought it was decent. I really liked the, um, uh, the sample on The beat was cool and I, uh, I thought the rapping on it was pretty good. I mean, there's nothing amazing about it, but I think it's a good song. Um, the song after that, though, um, something... The song with a uh, little baby, I think, is the song after that. Um, yeah, it's, it's again, it's just average. It's just, I mean, it's just average Drake. Um, Lil Baby carries a song. So, yeah, there's that. Not really much to say um, there. The next song after I think um has um Lil Durk and Giveon on it. I think that's how you say his name. And my God, bro, Lil Durk and Giveon absolutely obliterate Drake on this song, man. They like, you could take Drake off of um. Oh, it's called In the Bible. I think that's the name of the song. Like, you could take Drake off that song, and it would have been better. And it would it would have made the song better because Lil Durk and Give On alone on the track is amazing enough. Like Drake doesn't even need to be on that song, cause Drake gets obliterated so incredibly hard, um, on that song. Like it's, he might as well just not even be there, bro. Like, I I I I I just don't want to say it, but Lil Durk is just a better rapper and Give On is just a way better singer. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> um. I'm not gonna talk about every song on here because I just it's just not worth my time. But yeah, but just like if you guys are wondering what most of these songs sound like, it's basically just like hip hop and like R and B shit, like just typical Drake shit. Like a lot of the beats on here just sound like tight beat, generic tight beats and shit. 
that you would find on YouTube and crap. I just, I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm getting sick of this. Someone please. Someone needs to stop this man and force him to make something that's actually worth fucking listening to. Because this thing sure as hell was not. I wasted, I wasted and pretty much like three hours of my life listening to this fucking thing twice. <sighs> oh, man. But anyway, anyway. Um, I guess we can say, talk about the songs that I did like. Um, the song with, um, uh, Young Thug and Future. I figure it's called, uh, Way Too Sexy, I think is the name of the song. That song, I actually really like that song. The song was, um, it was a good song, you know. I thought the hook was pretty catchy. It's a good song, you know. I mean, everybody pretty much did their thing on that song, but it's good. It's good. It's good. Um, uh, the song with, uh, Travis Scott, I thought was actually pretty good, too. Um, I thought Travis Scott may would, uh, I thought Travis Scott would carry Drake on that song, but surprisingly he doesn't. You know, Drake actually holds himself together on that track. Again, it's Travis Scott pretty well. So, um, yeah, it's a good song. Also, um, what else? Um, what was the, um, uh, the, <laughs> I already forget. There was a, I think there's a. He was okay. It didn't really do much for me. Um, but it was okay. It wasn't that bad. Um, the song, um, oh my god, bro. The song Fallon's was terrible, bro. It's this fucking, like, dance hall track, and it's so bad, bro. Like, I don't even know, bro. It's so unbelievably generic. Like, oh, dude. Oh, man, bro, why? How does this, how does this man think this shit is okay? Why? Why? Why, bro? Why, why is that song on this album? Why is there this many songs on this album, bro? There's 21 tracks, bro. <sighs> this album literally made me appreciate Dark Lane demo tapes more, bro. Oh, my God. I don't even know, bro. But yeah, Fallon's, that's, that's an awful track. Don't listen to that one. Just don't. I mean, the Thames feature is okay, but just... Mm, mm, mm. I don't even know anymore, bro. I don't even know. But, um... <laughs> anyway, um, the song with, um, Ty Dollar Sign, I think it's called... I think... Is that, is that what I'm thinking of? I don't know. I, I forget all these damn names, bro. I can, I only just remember the features on it, but the song with Ty Dollar Sign, Ty Ty, blah, 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 Ty Dollar Sign was a uh, was decent. You know, I thought it was decent, um, and shit like that. See, there's not really much to even say about uh, really any of these songs because it's just like just average Drake songs. Like the song um, Seven A.M. and whatever is a uh, kind of just like one of those I guess like more personal Drake songs. I guess I not even gonna talk about it. Why? Because I don't remember even a damn thing he said in that song anyway. So, yeah, there's that. All I remember is that he um, threw shots at Kanye again on that song, and that's it. Um, yeah, there's not really anything else to really talk about there on that that's that track. <laughs> um, the song, the song, oh my god, bro, the song fucking fans is, ta t is terrible too, bro. Like, what? Dude, the song fucking fans sounds like some fucking, like... Justin Bieber pop B side from two thousand eleven, bro. Like, what the fuck is this song, bro? I don't get it. Like, this is another song that should have just been left off the album. Why is it on here? It sounds like shit. It sounds like shit. <sighs> oh my god, bro. I'm getting pissed off just talking about this because I don't know how how much longer I can take this, bro. The song, the song with Twenty One Savage and um whoever who else is on the song with Twenty One Savage, well Drake obviously, but who else is on there? I don't remember, but um, it's a it's a little it's a it's a decent song also. Twenty One Savage, you know, of course, you know Twenty One Savage just you know kills it with his feature game, bro. Like his like Twenty One Savage feature feature game is very very strong. This isn't one of his strongest, but like. It's still good, you know. It's listenable. I mean, I wouldn't really say as far as good, but it's decent, you know. It's it works, you know. You know, Twenty One Savage, he just doesn't miss when it comes to his futures, man. I don't know. He's just good, bro. <laughs> I don't know. 
Um, what else? The song uh, in N Too Deep, I think it's the name of it, um, was Future yet again is um uh, a pretty um a pretty uh, good uh. Actually, well, no, it's not really that good. I'm thinking of the wrong song. I was, I was thinking of the song with uh, Future and Young Thug. You know, that's a good, that's a good song too. Um, but yeah, the song N Too Deep. Um, it's a, uh, it didn't really do anything for me, really, to be honest. the The first half of it was pretty boring, but the second, the second half of the song, because there's a beat switch in the in the song. The second half of the song was uh better than the uh, the first half. Not gonna lie, and Future carried so. There's that. The song TSU is terrible. Did I already talk about that song? I don't know. The song TSU sucks. It's a boring, generic song. No reason to listen to it ever again. And, um, yeah. I really don't know. I really don't know what else to say about this album, to be honest. I don't know if I can even think of anything else to say about this album other than it's just, like... It's just fucking disappointing, bro. There's some good songs on here, but... Other than that, I don't think you're gonna get much from uh, this album, to be honest. Look at my messy ass hair, bro. Look at this messy ass hair that I don't ever fucking brush because I'm a slob. <laughs> I got this Reese Reese's pillow that's really fucking comfortable. Like seriously, this thing is fucking soft, bro. This thing is fucking soft, bro. It's so fucking soft. It's so fucking soft. Uh, mm. I'm just gonna put that behind me to give me some comfort from the anger that I've experienced from listening to this fucking album, bro. And, um, um, yeah, it's, it's, like, that's pretty much all I really gotta say about this album. Oh, yeah, The Closer, The Closer, was it called? Remorse? I don't even remember either. The outro, whatever you call it. The outro is literally the same exact thing as the fucking intro. It's just that the fucking instrumental is different. Like, bruh, mmm, bruh. The, I swear to God, man, this, 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 this man Drake is just getting lazy. I swear to God, bruh. I wanted to like this thing so fucking bad. I was excited for this album too, bro. Cause again, like the Scariest Hours Two shit was good, bro. Like you know the song Laugh Now Cry Later, bro. Like, you know I thought like you know Laugh Now Cry Later was like one of the teaser songs for this album, bro. But that song's not even on this album, bro. Oddly enough, like you think it would have been, but it's not. So I don't know, bro. Like, Laugh Now, Cry Later, and Scary Hours 2 had me excited for this album, bro, but I was left with nothing but disappointment, bro. I just... <sighs> I mean, I guess... I guess I can appreciate the songs that I liked on here, you know, and shit, but I don't know. Maybe this album will grow on me with time. I don't really know, but just as of right now, I just... I just I'm just coming from the thing with just disappointment. And honestly, I just... Just good luck next time, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know, bro. I'm not even looking into the camera directly. Well, now I am. But now I'm not. Because I don't like to. But man, bro. I don't know anymore. I really don't. You know, just... I guess, you know, I guess we just got what we got, I guess. I mean, I'd rather just listen to more life, you know, the songs that I like on More Life, the songs I like on Views, and the songs, you know, that, you know, are on If You're Reading This Are Too Late, bro. You know, nothing was the same. That was the name of that album, you know. Honestly, I don't even think Drake is even capable of making an album as good as Nothing Was The Same or If You're Reading This Is Too Late, bro. Not anymore, anyway, bro. This dude just seems like... I mean, this dude just knows. I mean, I know this album. This album obviously is gonna do like numbers and shit. So, cause it's Drake, so people are gonna gobble it up. Um, I don't know how much lo how much longer that's gonna last. Like, when is Drake gonna like no longer be able to put out an album of filler tracks, and shit? Like, when is he no longer gonna be able to do that and get away with it? You know, like nothing lasts forever. So, this may be the start of like that 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 downfall, bro. I don't know. We'll see, bro. We'll see, man. We'll see. I guess the only thing I can really rely on Drake on now is some good is some features he does, bro. That's the only thing I can rely on, bro. Like he has a good feature game and shit. He pretty much always has. <sighs> That's the only thing I can really look forward to nowadays, I guess. 
But it's cool. It's cool. I guess it's fine. I'm I'm done complaining now. I guess. <sighs> I got. I felt. I feel good getting that out of my chest now. <laughs> actually. <sighs> let me know. Let me know what you guys feel about this album. Did you guys like this album? Maybe you guys enjoyed this thing more than I did. Oh, uh, maybe you guys hated this thing more than I did. I don't really know, but let me guys let me know what uh you guys saw about this album. Really, I I like different I I like different responses. So you know, just you know, let's have some discussion in the comments. You know, just you know, give me your guys' thoughts. You know, I'm open to shit. So, um, whatever. I mean, we can just yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I just stuttered as hell, but, and shit, but, you know, we can talk about this, we can talk about this, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I really got to say about this album, Drake, <sighs> you disappointed us, man, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm done, I'm done talking about this, so, yeah, just, Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed. I guess this 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 seemed like a fucking rant video. It just seemed like a whole fucking video of Drake slander. Listen, I love Drake, but this album was not it, man. It was not. Um, I just hope for better shit in the future. That's all I want. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, that's all. Pretty much, I really gotta say. And um, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.